Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna to try one of these Artisan Bistro Burritos. This is the uh, Egg, Pork, Sausage, and Cheese Breakfast Burrito. It says contains no GMO ingredients, pork raised without antibiotics, uh, made with cage-free eggs, no artificial covers or flavor, 14 grams of protein per serving, made with organic eggs, cheese, and a tortilla. Um, these are at Kroger, they were um, 250 uh, at Kroger, so uh, not too awful. that. I cut the end open just so I wouldn't have to follow it because it looked like it was too bad to get open. When I tried to open it, I couldn't, honestly. Um, so here's the calories for you. 320 calories if you eat the entire burrito, which you would. Um, so there's your other information. So cooking directions. Oh, I don't know what Okay. So underneath the, ing the ingredients. So you can do these in the oven if you want to. There's the directions for it. Seems like a waste to put these in the oven. Um, a, lot of heat, a lot of energy to heat an oven up for one burrito. So we're going to do it in the microwave. We wouldn't do an oven anyway. So we're going to remove the burrito from the package and place it on a microwave safe plate. Uh, flap side up. These are frozen. So we're going to microwave the burrito for 1 minute 10 seconds. Flip the burrito over and then microwave for an additional 1 minute and 10 seconds. And then let it sit for, for one minute before eating. So 110, flip it over, 110. Um, I'm not going to use a paper plate. I'm actually going to use a regular plate. Let me grab one. Just because. Just because they tend to um, stick to a regular plate. I mean, a paper plate really bad. So if you had a piece of parchment paper you could put it on, that would be fine. But um, I'm going to do it on just a regular plate so it won't stick as bad. So I'm going to get this in the microwave, flip it over, put it again. And I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave. I did cut it in half. It let, I let it sit for a minute. And then I did cut it in half just so I could pick it up and show you what's inside. It looks like tons of eggs. Um, don't see much of anything else in there. Um, it's supposed to have uh, sausage in there too, but I don't really, I guess there's some small pieces of sausage like right there. There's some small pieces. So, and the tortilla itself is very, very soft, um, almost wet. So I'm gonna turn it over so it won't get too soggy on the bottom. Yeah, because that was getting soggy on the bottom of that. You can see the moisture on the plate. So I'm going to let this sit and dry out a little bit and cool off, and I'll be right back. Okay, it should be cool enough now to, to try out. So here's, like I said, there's a closer look at it. You can see the potatoes and stuff in there, too. Hmm. The biggest taste I get out of there... At first, the very first flavor is potato. Um, then I get the flavor of the sausage. And there's some, I didn't see a lot right at first, but if you look after I took a bite, there's a big hunk of sausage right there in the, in the back. So there are pieces of sausage in here. Um, this is not bad. I, the tortilla itself is, um, is good and soft, and it's, it's not wet. I flipped it over so it dried out, so that's good. Um, if I hadn't flipped it over, it would have been soggy on the bottom, so which wouldn't have been good. Uh, the flavor is pretty good. I like the taste of the sausage. The tortilla is a little chewy. It's not bad in a bad way. I don't mind it, but it is a little chewy. The sausage, well, that bite I just now took didn't have any sausage in it at all. It was all egg and cheese and tortilla, of course. Um, it's good. You can taste the egg um, really strongly in there, so it's it's got a good flavor to it. The sausage has a little bit of spice to it, not like burn your mouth hot spicy sausage, but just regular sausage. I don't mind it. And I know a lot of people like to put like um, salsa or ketchup or something like that on these. Um, I think salsa would be pretty good with this because that's the sausage, it does have a little bit of spice to it and a salsa would add just that little more flavor to it. I do think he's good. I think they're a little expensive for what they are, 250. Um, for a single burrito, a breakfast burrito, I think it's a little high, but it is, um, you know, organic cheese, eggs, and a tortilla. So it is organic, if that matters to you. Um, no GMO, all that kind of stuff. So I guess it's a, it's a more humane um, version of a breakfast burrito. Flavors are good. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four because I do like the flavors. Uh, I have nothing to really complain about it, but there's nothing like super spectacular either. So I'm going to give it a four. Definitely worth trying out if you don't mind spending two fifty for a burrito. This, that's how much it is. So uh, yeah, I like it. I was trying to get to the back end real quick. The back still does have lots of uh, egg and potatoes back there too. 
And the potatoes are really good. The potato, you get a really strong potato flavor. And even the eggs, the egg by itself actually tastes good. So yeah, definitely worth trying. I would try this out if you, if you want, and I'll catch you next time.